hate that noise. Stop that. Okay. Hi guys, it's Leanne here. Hold on, I hate that. Probably gonna want that later. Okay, thumbnails. Hi guys, it's Celine here and today on my channel, I am, to, whoa, just blacked out for a second. Hi guys, it's Celine here and today on my channel, I'm just gonna be kind of spilling the beans. Kind of telling you guys how my mindset really changed because I don't know if any of you guys have noticed or those of you who are new here. Hi, my name is Leanne. I love you guys. You guys mean the world to me. And thanks for 500 subscribers. It, again, really means the world to me. I'm gonna just do a backstory, first of all. I've been doing YouTube for roughly almost eight years now. And I really have to say, that went through phases of feeling judged or hating when people knew my account or watched my YouTube videos or people who I knew watched my YouTube videos or afraid of getting those hate comments or just so many list of influencer -y things that you kind of just get honestly youtube is like retail therapy for me like i don't really prefer to shop for myself that's how i's how huh? that's how i've always been i don't ever really shop for myself and when i do i feel guilty but i'll get into that later on in the video my mindset has really changed and i just want to talk about it with you guys how i've changed mentally how i'm doing how i make sure that i still get good treatment for myself on top of doing all of the other things that i do tips and tricks and so much more so if you guys are interested just continue watching let's just get into it so i have quite a few notes here um, so, sorry, my chair keeps hitting the wall and it just pisses me off. And I got a new chair today, it's the crisscross chair from TikTok. I'll have a link to something very similar from Amazon. Yeah, okay, so. So we're gonna start off with self-care. I, I'm gonna be real raw and honest here. I have never really been the one to wash my face every morning and every night. I was never the kid to brush my teeth every day. Not like every day, but like every night. Like I would skip a night or two. I would brush my teeth in the morning, but like I'd be like really bad at it. And Honestly, it took me a very long time to get into the habit of doing all of those things. But honestly, and I'm going to be quite literally honest with you throughout this entire video. I just started to put in the work to find my pamper routine products. I think it really started with my pamper routine. Like, I remember back when I think it was right after I graduated high school but right after I graduated high school I worked pretty much Sunday like Thursday and then I worked here and there I worked Friday mornings for a little bit I hated the Friday mornings thing and so I took Saturday or Friday and Saturday off and then I worked Sunday through Thursday pretty much and Friday mornings because my mom only worked 
8 to noon so Friday mornings I would kind of like wash my face and I did I got I had all these weird products that I kind of just started compiling together and putting them on um and then I think I kind of moved to in that time range I also wanted to find really good self or I also wanted to in in that time I also wanted to find in that time I also wanted to find a really really good face wash and I was using Curology for a while like it's not sponsored and none of my videos are sponsored but I used Curology for the longest time and then I found out that honestly it's expensive because I was spending like $60 on Curology and then another $60 on Function of Beauty. I can talk about Function of Beauty on a whole other video. But Curology was really nice. I loved it and it worked for my skin. I just wanted to find a cheaper version. And honestly, it took me a little bit, but I'll have the... Um, I'll have pop-ups of what I use at the moment um, for like my face wash, my every day and every night face wash routine. I'll have all of those up on the screen. But honestly, I just started putting in the work every morning and every night to start washing my face no matter what. No matter if I was sicker than a dog, no matter if it was 2 a.m. and I should have been asleep four hours ago no matter if I didn't want to like I did it anyway and I think that made me realize like after so many days of doing it it kind of just got stuck into a routine and now I always do it and I'm gonna be honest there's gonna be times like if I don't wear makeup which that's a whole topic in itself but if I don't wear makeup nowadays like sometimes I'll forget to wash my face. So after this video, I'm going to wash my face. But um, for the most part, like brushing my teeth and washing my face, like if I skip a day or if I like forget, like I, I don't wanna say like I feel guilty, but like I have to do it twice. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but like I have to brush my teeth and wash my face twice so whether like i do it like a two hour break and then i wash my face for the last time of the day and brush my teeth for the last time of day like i have to do it twice a day nowadays which is amazing that i've gotten that far because honestly i could see a difference in my teeth completely honestly i'm gonna say that now i realize that i do have a little bit of a teeth sensitivity but i think that's just because I overbrush in some spots, but I have no clue. Um, I've already kind of talked about this, but I've found the right products in general, um, explicitly with like a shower routine. Um, I found that my body got itchy after so many times or so many, like so many bottles of whatever body wash like i went from function of beauty body wash to olay olay was good for a while but then i went to a few other ones and the most recent one was method and i used quite a few body washes and i found that it made my body itchy so i went to i'll have a picture of it on the screen but i went to this one the avino and it's like anti-itchy. Um, I put a little bit of like the tea tree or like one of the bottles of tea tree body wash in there just to kind of have something extra. And I'm gonna be honest with you, like it's working wonders up in here. It's working wonders. And I found that like making like a regulated, I found that making a regulated shower i found that i found that making a regulated shower routine kind of put me also 
into the regulated like every everything shower now honestly i'm not like other women like i'm pretty picky when it came to the shower anyway and if we want an all girls version of a shower routine and kind of like the products that i use and such i could do a whole separate video on that but i went and for down there for the girls down there was the biggest problem for me it always kind of has been and i found that the gillet venus um brand for the girls literally they made it for the girls for down there wonders um now i ran out of like the cartridges like the shaver the razors because the you buy a one-time razor and then like you just get new razor heads for it um i ran out of that and i just used the basic ones which i get the walmart like five blade one it worked out it worked good like i didn't have any complaints as far as like itchiness dryness none of that and honestly if i ever have like itchiness and dryness like a couple days after honestly i will usually just use the lotion and the oil i usually do the oil then the lotion it doesn't really specify when how you're supposed to do it but i do the oil then the lotion um anytime that i feel those feelings down there um i'm gonna be honest with you but like i said that could be a whole other topic but i found my perfect everything shower routine and i found what i wanted to do in my shower routine what i didn't I, i'm more so talking about my every thing shower routine like i added certain things i took out things that i just didn't like you know so on and so forth um right now and if any of you girlies use any products for your scalp like scalp scrub comment down below what your scalp scrub is like at this point like i'm fading for something i'll have what i'm using on the screen currently it's okay but i found that and i am usually one to put my scalp scrub in the fridge in my mini fridge i don't know why i just did because the first one that i used which i'll have that one on the screen right here this one when i first started doing scalp scrubs um this one was so kind of like watery it was like a watery scrub that like to make it harder and like easier to use i had to put it in the fridge but i usually like i don't know if any other girlies have this but i get pimples in my hair like on my scalp so to prevent that I do like a scalp scrub after I do my hair oil but like I said I literally just found the perfect routine and I'm sticking with it literally sticking with it that's it now we're going back into the makeup topic beforehand I really never knew the style that I liked on my face like I didn't know if I liked for the eyes i didn't know if i liked the dark lids i didn't know if i liked the light dewy kind of look or the really out there shadow looks i could not like i didn't have anything in mind and then i also didn't have the right type of makeup products like i had makeup products but they weren't good products and they were probably all expired too i'm not even a lie but i had a i'll have it up in the eye for you guys but i had the revamp makeup revamp video on my to-do list for quite some time and honestly i just went through with it one day i was like you know what i need to i would like to start looking pretty hold on one second i would like to start looking pretty and I would like to like dress up and feel cute in an outfit without having like a crappy makeup look and i did my research for a while 
but honestly i kind of just went for it and i went in target part of me and kind of just went through the makeup section and i spent quite a long time in the makeup section and i literally just looked at products and i ended up going with elf and nyx um products because i heard a couple of nyx products were good and then i heard a lot of elf's products were good which i will have again it up in the eye for you guys and you guys can go see what products i use but after that makeup video i literally felt like absolute water break i just put water down my cheek but after buying that makeup i spent like 150 dollars on makeup and i felt like shit i felt so guilty that i spent $150 on makeup and I felt that it was unnecessary and I could have used that $150 on so many other things but I went and I had to go grocery shopping afterwards and I went and grocery shopped and then after I walked out of Walmart I quite literally remembered that I had gotten makeup so I quite literally forgot that I was upset which sounds completely stupid that I was upset in the first place because I deserve makeup I think makeup is what makes a lot of girls in her beauty come out and I guess quote unquote play that's just how it is like and I I guess at the I really didn't realize that I was thinking of myself so low at the time and then I ended up later that evening doing my makeup for the revamp video. Sorry, my nose looks red. I don't know what is fucking happening, but I look like a reindeer, so <laughs> don't mind her. I ended up doing my makeup and it was really like just to try the makeup out, see what happens. And I ended up quite literally instantly loving the makeup and I that was the first time I felt gorgeous in the the whoa hold on I was about to re-say what I was already saying that was the first time that I ever felt gorgeous with makeup on in the longest time and I went through a lot of phases of how I put my makeup on I think we sure all have and um there's no wrong way to put makeup on at all um i put on makeup completely different when i was doing or in my eighth grade dance and i felt ugly so i literally went in the bathroom and took it all off in the middle of the eighth grade dance and i remember that like it was yesterday i will never forget that moment and I don't know why I did that because I was pretty with or without makeup so it doesn't really matter but I ended up in that video talking about a lot of things that weighed me down um, just in general and I think after that video I didn't really think that I felt any different but the next morning I literally woke up in quite literally one of the best moods I've ever been in and I ended up doing everything that I needed to. So I ended up quite literally putting on makeup to go to work, just to go to work. And it stuck, it literally stuck. And the past two days I have been put on makeup. I'm gonna be honest with you. Tuesday, cause Monday was Memorial Day. Tuesday, I just didn't wanna wake up early enough do my workout shower and then wait i didn't shower on tuesday oh you know what i wanted to relax and have my coffee and make breakfast that's what it was um and i didn't want to have to spend like the 20 to 30 minutes that it takes me to put on my makeup 
just to go to work for nine hours, eight hours, nine hours. Today, my poor mommy woke up and she usually comes in my bedroom and just says goodbye even if I don't hear her. And I guess I woke up nonchalantly like at the same time she was leaving and she said that she wasn't feeling good and she didn't do any of like her usual tasks. So I had a lot to do. Um, so I didn't get to do makeup. And by the time I could have put on makeup, I realized that I had to eat breakfast. So, but nonetheless, finishing up the makeup department, this is what really that day of doing the makeup revamp video in general, cause it was all one day and it was all on Thursday. I think that was the start of the new lifestyle. I think I've already been changing my lifestyle, but I think I got stuck in a plateau for the longest time. And I think with doing the makeup revamp, it started in whirlwind a lot of different things. I don't know about you guys, but that is the worst noise in history. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna move on fashion. Let me make it crystal motherfucking clear up in here. I am still working on my fashion completely. I think I'm more of the, I don't give a fuck what I wear. I'm more of like that, the girl who always wears leggings, clearly I'm wearing leggings right now. Um, leggings, jeans are very uncomfortable jumpsuits are in type of girl i don't know where you would label her but that's who i am oversized t-shirts i think you guys get the drift but honestly for fashion i really just started to buy a couple products i started with the off a picture of her on the screen but around december january maybe even february i started with the tiktok long sleeve jumpsuit and then I plateaued for a little bit on buying things. And then I did an Amazon, or no, I did, yeah, I did an Amazon, um, $100 Amazon, you know, haul. And I had a jumpsuit. And then I had the, um, tube tops but they were not my size so I just donated them I think that's it but then I did a TikTok shop and then I got another jumpsuit so I just got a array of different things and um nice products to add and then literally a couple weeks ago, I did a closet clean out, which really turned into a room refresh. But speaking of like a closet clean out and room refresh, I think that I started to hate. Well, first of all, I'm gonna talk about the subtopic first. My head was so messy for the longest time. And I think I attempted Saturday night, I attempted to declutter and organize my dresser. And I ended up getting upset because I was so overwhelmed with everything in my room and how things were laid out and just that like everything was so unorganized and didn't have a place that my mind was just on overtime and it kept running and running and running until I literally started crying. And then the very next day, I told my mom I'm gonna drag her to Target and she's gonna help me find bedding. Now, I'll have a picture of the bedding that I had down here and then the picture of the one that I wanted. They're identical, just different colors. Um, they stopped selling those two products 
in store so i had to go for this waffle one which i'm gonna be completely honest with you i freaking hated the waffle print i hated everything about it and i i just didn't want to regret purchasing it but i also knew that it was going to grow on me once i put it in my bedroom which it did start to grow on me and now i really freaking love it and i am glad that i spent the 144 dollars and some odd cents yes now i remember and maybe this is because i shopped at walmart for bedding and maybe this is because i got like a bed in a bag type of deal but no one told me that you have to get almost everything separately like the only thing that came together was the bed or like the waffle print blanket and two waffle print shams which are really just the pillowcases but other than that the bed sheet like the fitted bed sheet and the flat bed sheet were separate i don't use flat sheets i think they're kind of pointless now if i got a partner and they were like what is wrong with your bed and why don't you have a flat sheet i would get a flat sheet like i wouldn't mind getting a flat sheet if i had a partner but it's just me so i'm not even halfway through and i already have to get a new battery i'll be right back okay we are back but no one told me i guess summary of what i was talking about no one told me that you got everything separate when you were going to like high higher end stores like no one told me that information um but i guess moral of the story is i hard moral fucking more moral of the story is i started to hate the dark on dark on dark where the only thing light was quite literally my walls so that's why i changed my bedding to white biggest and best um investment in my entire life i'm gonna be honest with you but then i started doing ring around the rosy up in here and i started to pick out every single item that was not being functioned properly i did not like up or i wanted to keep and save for other rooms in the house that i move in sorry just like when i have my own house and i have like those for you the i have those products that i just that weren't being functioned properly but i really loved and wanted to keep like instance um i had like a mail drop and then which is in my closet and i also have a kind of like a hanging like you know like in your entrance where you put your keys like on a little hanger um i handmade one well i kind of diy'd one um uh, and yeah i kept that but i put it in my closet for later i also had other things like for when i move out and things that i just wanted to keep or room decorations just all that junk that just adds up and i don't have a lot of closet space so i just had to organize it in such a way to make it look neat and that everything has a place but where i don't have to get rid of stuff that i truly really want to keep and I had a black blanket which i'll have the white and the black on the screen but i had the black one that one was for christmas it was a christmas present from my mom and i've been talking how i wanted an actual throw blanket she had gotten a white one a 
couple months ago and so I just switched to the white with or the black with the white to kind of fit the functionality of the bed now I'm gonna be honest with you guys it does look like a vanilla ice cream type of color like it's like that yellowish white but honestly it's not gonna stay for very long I'm planning on getting like a more neutralized color such as like this just like a little bit more tan um, or something to that effect add a little bit more color but I'm gonna bring this up the list but I wanna I realized while I was last weekend so the weekend that just passed we were kind of just looking up and down the target aisles and I realized that I was like hmm I really want accent pillows I didn't have I had a pink one but it was kind of just there it kind of moved around it never had a place so I got rid of her but <laughs> on other news I'm gonna get accent pillows but I want them to kind of sort of match in color with the throw blanket just so I don't have to like throw off a color you know but I got rid of the like bar stool type of chair now that was the original chair it was supposed to be my desk didn't work and now I want to keep her for the entryway and to have it like a like just like an entryway like cute little like table I don't know and I kind of want to add a bench but like on the opposite side of the hallway I don't know it depends on how the house in Tennessee whenever we move would be laid out but I got rid of the bar stool chair first and then two three days later I decided to make the impulse decision to throw away the same chair just a desk chair away and it had paint on it so I couldn't donate it like the bar stool one but then I got her but I've been using a chair from the living room or the dining room chair so now I have her she was kind of a pain in the ass to put together i'm not gonna lie i started looking at bed frames dressers and nightstands now i think i briefly talked about it first of all i like the nightstand it's okay but it doesn't fit it doesn't it doesn't help me in the areas that i need help with and it honestly causes me more trouble than anything else so that's an issue so i did find a bed frame a dresser that actually comes with a mirror and i do have two nightstands in mind that i want to add now one of the nightstands would not be put together it would just be put in the corner of the closet and she would just be there for later on but the table that I have as a nightstand now I would keep two um but yeah that is exactly how I felt and what I've been doing as far as continuing my room refresh and I'm excited I do have to say for the bed frame and the dresser because it's like 400 ish and I work right next to a city furniture, so instead of paying the ungodly freaking amount, I'll just drag my mom and to city furniture to pick it up. But that's my thought. Now we're kind of just going to move on to the miscellaneous lifestyle changes. Um, I added co-pilot to my list of to-dos. I, Alyssa Rose, which I'll have her channel up in the eye, she started 
using Copilot January of 2023. Used it and she's still using it. Um, and that entire, literally the entire year I saw her use it and how much she loved it. And she worked with them multiple different times. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it. So I did, and I fell in love with it too. Now, this is by no means sponsored by Copilot, but it is pricey. I'm gonna be honest with you. I had to do a couple changes in my lifestyle to pay for it. It's $129 flat, but it's worth it because if you're like a beginner like me who is more of an introvert, so I don't like I have like a weird little thing. I'm sure that there's people out there just like me who don't like or have the thought that people are staring at them in the gym and judging them on how they're working out when in reality that's not the case at all. Um, but I have that thought and I won't ever get rid of it. So being able to have someone literally do a google chat with you and go through all the things that you do like you don't like you know how you eat and my coach lauren she gives me recipe ideas and so many things on top of that so it's so nice to have that and honestly it's been a big help considering that my life kind of is a lot of go, go, go. Like, I don't ever get to, like, just sit and relax. Like, like take, take a breath in a couple days to just do nothing very often. So, having that is so much nicer. And honestly, it's just finishing the journey that I started to being a healthier human being in general um and i do have a video on that and if i can find it i will have it up in the eye but i also changed my eating habits a bit i started adding a lot of protein into my diet um greens and more specifically like literal greens edamame broccoli you know just like a lot more greens into my diet and I started adding them um tomorrow I'm gonna actually try sweet potato for the first time but water and I'm also finding healthier alternatives to unhealthy products for instance instead of regular chocolate chips the lilies chocolate chips are so much better and honestly to me they taste better than regular chocolate chips um another thing is desserts like finding different desserts i want to try protein brownies and like protein like i don't know like i'm just finding healthier alternatives to stuff that i like like I don't know if I'm lactose intolerant by any means, but sometimes when I drink dairy, more so milk than anything else. But like when I drink milk sometimes, she'd be upset in my tummy. Um, so I'm trying goat's milk, which goat's milk is still considered dairy and I did look that up, but it's actually more of a healthier version it's something that you would have to look up and read on but it's a healthier version it and it's more light on your stomach than cow's milk would be the only difference between cow's milk and goat's milk is that it has a little bit of a different taste to it it's like something that you would have to get used to but i'm starting to realize that goat's milk is like one of those things that you don't just drink it's one of those you add it to different things but it's like a milk that you don't just drink and i'm also thinking about maybe trying fair life going into some of those but i'm starting to try to find alternatives to 
Sorry, my mouth is dry. I've been talking for like almost an hour at this point. I'm almost done, I promise. <laughs> but I'm just trying to find healthier alternatives. That way I don't feel as guilty having those because they're just quite literally healthier alternatives. Uh, for instance, Skinny Cow is a good ice cream alternative. Halo Top has protein in it. There's so many other products you can honestly use for your unhealthy habits. I am also starting to add more workouts besides my co-pilot workout. And for me personally, I work out, I do hardcore workouts Mondays and Thursdays and Sundays, Tuesdays. I work out stretching. So like a lot of like different stretching. I found that after the hardcore workout, like I just need a good stretch. So, and then Wednesdays and Fridays, I do a five minute extra tab and then Saturday is a complete rest day. But I add more workouts such as walks or beach walks since I live on a beach. Um, yoga, dancing, and anything that's considered a workout like swimming, just other things like that. I don't have a bike at the moment because of the hurricane, but I would have been biking had my bike still been here. <laughs> um, and I'm also trying to get back into reading because i found that reading really just calms me down <laughs> but yeah i think that overall i feel even just talking about it just also makes me feel so happy and genuine and giddy that i'm actually being the person that i wanted to be forever forever ago like i'm actually doing it and I talked about watching Bebe Hey and in one of her videos, and I'm not sure how recent it was to today, but she said that there's no such thing as always being motivated. And her saying that literally put in perspective that it's okay to not be motivated, but if you just get up and do it, it's completely going to be worth it because you're going to feel so good after it. There's been times where I literally didn't want to do my workout. I did my workout. And even though like I still felt like a little blah after the workout, it made me feel so much better in the sense of like mentally, if that makes sense. I could talk about it all day. I've been talking about it for almost an hour and maybe even more than that so I'm gonna shut up and if you guys have any comments that you guys want to comment or questions that you want to ask but never they never got answered in the video please comment them down below and with my biggest love have a good day and again thank you for 500 subscribers but you can't hide. You can run, but you can't.